just going to do this quick video on how to undo and replace a clutch cable on a John Deere 6400 um, because I was looking for one couldn't find one and might have been helpful um, you take off your plastic panel that sits here there's a Phillips or crosshead in the top there's a crosshead there and then there's a 8mm socket in there you then have, just turn this on, this is your clutch lever, pedal, whatever you want to call it. You've got one of these at the top, um, that undoes, well, it's quite hard to do one-handed. Uh, how's this going to work? Put that like that, maybe. So you just push that shoulder away, that will swing out and then you can pull your drift pin out, like that, it's not too bad, put that back in because this is the problem with ours is it snapped and so we tried to truss it up, it didn't work. Um, you also have the same at the other end but smaller, so you've got the same sort of clip over and drift pin. Um, you then have one of these little split washers that holds this clutch cable in there. So that fits up from the bottom. I had to tap it out with a hammer. And when that comes up, see that little groove there, that clip sits in that over the top of there, which obviously stops the cable, cable traveling down. Um, and then you have to do repeat the same on the other end. Just pop down underneath. Oh, probably better to do it in a in a workshop, but I'm out in the paddock. Right. So this spring was attached to that hook. Pop that off to give you a bit of room to get it out. That there is the other end of the clutch cable, um, and that sits up through an eyelet, let's just shove that back up out of the way, up through an eyelet on the other end of this hook, up there, if it will focus, it won't focus, right up there, um, you can just see it, now so you sort of have to fight to get that off and then again, again there, you have the same thing. You have one of those little clips that goes around the cable. Goes around the cable there. Just pop that one back in. Um, and that clips on that shoulder and holds that cable in. So once you've undone the left hand end of that sort of saddle on this, because this is the clutch lever or clutch that goes into the, um, <coughs> whatever you want to call that. Um, that whole cable just comes off and then all we're going to do now oh, is pop back out <laughs> and I'm going to get this bit of baler twine see I've trussed a bit of insulating tape on it I'm going to tape that to that so that when we pull it through we leave the leave the baler twine in so that when I go to replace it I'll tape the new one onto it and then I can drag it back because feeding this without that would be a bit of a nightmare um, and then yeah once hopefully because you've got a number on that that I can't quite see to order myself a new cable and I have tried to you know order one already but to no avail um, yeah should pop it back on and good to go but it's not as scary, like you don't need to tilt the cab, you don't really need too many tools. Um, I had an 8mm socket uh, and I had a PH2, I think, yeah, PH2, um, and then just a screwdriver and I had to use a hammer just to tap that down because it was a bit tight. Um, yeah, and that's that. Not as scary as I thought.